Welcome to the tutorial for setting up a P2P connection. In this video, we'll show you how to set up a secure peer-to-peer -peer or P2P connection between your Android or iOS mobile device and an Alibi recorder through the Guarding Vision cloud service. Using this connection, you can watch live video from the device, playback and download recordings, perform various configuration tasks, receive push notifications, and take advantage of a host of other features. And you don't need to port forward your router. It's very easy to set up and use, so let's get started. This video includes three sections. Install Alibi Witness 2.0, create a Guarding Vision account, and create a peer-to-peer -peer connection to your Alibi recorder. Section 1. Install Alibi Witness 2.0. The process of installing and using the app on an Android or iOS device is very similar. To install it on an iOS phone, open the iTunes App Store. Tap the search icon, enter Alibi Witness 2, and then tap search again to open the search results screen. In the results list, tap on Alibi Witness 2.0 to open the installation page. Tap Get. Verify that you have found version 3 or later, and then tap Open. Follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation. Section 2. Create a Guarding Vision account. The Guarding Vision service is provided free by Alibi Security, but to use it, you must first create an account. Then, you can add devices to Alibi Witness for mobile monitoring. To create an account, open the Alibi Witness app, and then tap the Login icon. The screen shown here appears after installation of Alibi Witness 2.0 version 3. Tap Register in the Guarding Vision login screen. Tap either Register by mobile phone number or Register by email address. Here I opted to register by mobile phone number. In the Region screen, scroll down to find your country and then select it. For Register by mobile phone number, enter your mobile phone number in this field and then tap Get Verification Code. A text message containing a verification code will be sent to your phone. The code will remain valid for 30 minutes. Enter the verification code sent to you in the field shown on the verification screen and then tap Next. In the Account Settings screen, enter your preferred account name and password and then tap Finish. The account name must be at least six characters and cannot contain a forward slash, backslash, colon, asterisk, question mark, quotation mark, less or greater than symbols, or vertical bar. Passwords should have at least eight characters and include upper and lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. Once you tap finish, the home window will open with an add device icon. Section 3. Create a P2P connection to your Alibi recorder. There are two ways to add a device to the Alibi Witness app with the Guarding Vision cloud service by scanning the device's QR code. To use this method, you must have access to the recorder console to scan the QR code embedded in the device firmware, or you must have an image of it, by adding the device manually. To use this method, you can log into the recorder either locally or remotely to get the information you need. In this video, we'll show an example of the manual adding method. To use this method, we need to log into the recorder with admin credentials, find the device serial number, enable the Guarding Vision cloud service, find or create a Guarding Vision verification code, find the server and HTTP ports. Log into your recorder with administrative privileges. In this example, we logged in at the recorder console, but you can also retrieve everything you need by logging in remotely. In the main menu, click the maintenance icon. In the system info device info screen, find the serial number field. The serial number we need is the nine-digit numerical string between the last two alpha character strings in the field. For this recorder, the number is 602-296-592. Copy this number for use later. Click back to return to the main menu, then click the configuration icon. Click the network link in the left frame, and then click on the platform access tab. If the Enable box is already checked, it is likely that the recorder is already added to another person's P2P account. If so, you cannot add it to yours unless they share it with you. 
You can continue with this procedure to try to add it to your account, but don't change anything on this screen. If your attempt to add it is blocked, contact whomever might have added it to their account and ask them to share it with you. If Enable is not checked, click on it to check it. If the Verification Code field is blank, click inside the field and follow the on-screen instructions to create a Guarding Vision verification code for this device. Copy the code for later use and then click Apply to save your settings. Click the More Settings tab. Notice that the server port and HTTP port for the device are set to 8000 and 80 respectively. In the Alibi Witness app homepage, tap the Add or Plus icon in the upper right corner, then select Manual Adding. In the Add Device screen, enter the nine digit serial number you found earlier and then tap the Save icon in the upper right corner. If your recorder was discovered, the SKU and serial number will appear on the results screen. Tap Add to continue. Enter the Guarding Vision verification code in the pop-up window, and then tap OK to continue. Check the information shown in the Adding Completed menu, and if everything is correct, tap Skip. Next, a Devices List screen will appear. To stream live video from your recorder, tap the Expand or Greater Than symbol before the device you added, and then tap the select boxes for the cameras you want to view. Tap the Start Live View button at the bottom of the screen. This concludes the tutorial for setting up a P2P connection. More information about the Alibi Witness 2.0 app and the methods shown in this video can be found in these documents, available from your local Alibi installer.